All right, in this tutorial, I have my iPad here. I'm going to show you how to use Google Drive and Fourscore together. It's a great way to stay organized. You'll see my tuba ensemble arrangements here, which is the properest day to drink. It's a great little folk song. And this is Google Drive that we're looking at right now. You can see the score parts. There's a finale file, that's .musex. There's a WAV file, that's the sound file. But what I'm interested in is the score. So I'm going to show you the score very quickly. You can see up here, dedicated it to my friend and mentor, Doug Bennett. Uh, I can close that with the X. Now I want to import that into Fourscore. Now you can do this directly from Fourscore, but what I really like to do, I have an iPad Pro, so I'm going to slide the Fourscore app over here and slide down the little gray rectangle on the top, and here we are sharing the screen. This is, oh, that's one of my other tuba arrangements, Sussex Carol. But I want to get which is the properest day to drink into Fourscore. The three little uh, gray circles over here, if you click on that, the option is to open in, and you'll see that Fourscore is one of those options. When I click on that, pop, it's right there. It's in Fourscore. It's ready to use. I can organize that into a uh, set list, uh, or I can just use it right there. But now I'm in Fourscore. I can start making notes, you know, black out all those euphonium too. Nobody cares about that anyway. Just kidding. Uh, all that good stuff. Now, if you don't have an iPad Pro, you can still do that. We don't have to have that multitasking. Uh, let's say I just have my tuba one part and I want to load that in. Still can click those three buttons, uh, three gray circles. Can still click open in. And can still click four score. Now, it's still going to open that. It just means that it opens up a different app. Okay? Uh, not really a big deal, but I, like I said, I really like that multitasking, the ability to see both of them at the same time.